The third annual Children's Art and Literacy Festival was held June 12th through 14th featuring filmmaker, illustrator, author, and Academy Award winner, William Joyce. Mr. Joyce's exhibition, William Joyce, Guardian of Childhood, opened to great fanfare earlier that week and the festival activities kicked off Thursday evening at Art Walk. The evening included a thank you dinner for CAF patrons at the Grace Museum. Mayor Norm Archibald proclaimed the six Guardians of Childhood official citizens of Abilene. A costume contest and parade were followed by a presentation and book signing by Mr. Joyce at the Paramount Theater. That was followed by a progressive unveiling of five Guardian sculptures around downtown for Jack Frost, Toothiana, Sanderson Mansnoozy, E. Astor Bunnymund, and Nicholas St. North, also known as Santa Claus. It's amazing. It's like a crazy daydream. There's only a few times in life where life is as good as a storybook, and this is one of them. Friday and Saturday festival goers attended dramatic presentations, tied thematically to Mr. Joyce's books, and collected specially designed buttons for their lanyards at each reading. Following each reading, children were treated to a make and take art activity. Other fun activities throughout the two days included train rides in Everman Park on the Guardian Express, watching balloon sculptor David McCullough create larger than life balloon sculptures, being mystified by Lonnie Chevry's one-of-a-kind magic tricks, popping Ron Erdrich's giant bubbles, and watching William Joyce movies at the Paramount Theater. Costumed Guardian characters greeted children during autograph and photo sessions at the Elks Art Center. Children of all ages enjoyed playing a variety of instruments at the Abilene Philharmonic's Instrument Petting Zoo. They also enjoyed Easter egg hunts at Frontier, Texas, inspired by the William Joyce character E. Aster Bunnymund, also known as the Easter Bunny. May Farms brought live animals. The Abilene Zoo and Hendrick Pet Therapy wowed the children in the Abilene Reporter News parking garage. Calf registrants also enjoyed traditional festival activities such as face painting, hair chalking, caricatures, games, and cookie decorating. The festival ended on a high note with a concert at the Paramount for the Grammy-nominated Trout Fishing in America. The musical duo played folk, pop, and family-friendly music. Hundreds of families from throughout the Southwest enjoyed meeting William Joyce and experiencing this uniquely fun and educational experience.